Hey, in this video, I'm gonna go through the benefits of working for an insurance agency versus starting your own insurance agency. I get this topic coming up a lot with a lot of people reaching out to me, asking me, you know, should I start an agency? Should I just work for an agency? And I want to go through because it's super, super important. It's, it's really not for everyone. So I really want to encourage you to understand the pros and cons before you go and make that decision to start your agency. Or if you want to work for an insurance agency, really understand the benefits of doing it on your own or working for someone. Pros and cons, there are massive pros and cons. And it's just like I said, there it's not for everybody. There's a lot that goes into this. Um, it takes years of work and to build it up to a successful agency in quote unquote successful agency. So really understand these. I'll go through kind of the major benefits, pros, cons, and hopefully you have the self-awareness to understand if that fits for you. And then, you know, taking that risk and going into it because there's always a risk with starting your own agency as well with it not working out, losing money. So let's dive into some of the pros and cons and hopefully this helps you make that decision for yourself. Starting with the starting your own agency, the pros of doing that. First and foremost, you own the agency. That's awesome. Like you have the ownership of it. It's worth something. You can always sell it. That's great. You have full autonomy and decision making. So if you want to change things or have a different structure or marketing or whatever, you choose those things. You build it from the ground up and you really have that pride in ownership. I remember that was one of the major things that shifted for me. I really started to care more about customers because it was my customers instead of just working for someone. So there's a different vibe there for sure. The next thing is you create your own schedule. Like you get to have the flexibility to leave and go on a vacation next week if you really wanted to. There's a con with that too, but we won't dive into that just yet. We'll go into that later. Next thing is you have control of operations. Like if you want to do a lot of automation or you want to do things just really face to face, or if you want to do things just over the phone or however you want to implement your strategy into your insurance agency, more online based, whatever it might be, you control that, which is awesome because you can be successful that way or fail. So there's also pros and cons there too. Okay, going into the cons of starting your own agency or operating your own agency, you wear every single hat. I'm putting this as a con because, you know, you may not be good at all these things. Marketing, whether it's sales themselves, whether it's HR dealing with customer or employee team member issues, and let's just say two people are fighting, how do you handle that? accounting are you good with numbers are you good at budgeting are you good at forecasting you know training new team members are you good at sales training one thing is you're good at sales but then can you train somebody else in sales like having the right coaching and, and patience to do those things and there's much much more that goes into it but just to kind of recap a few of those things those are just i would say that's a con because you may not be good at all those things it's really important to be self-aware and ask yourself those questions the next thing is the success or the failure rests completely on your shoulders. There is no one to blame. If the agency is not profitable and is not making money, don't look around and blame the leads. Don't blame the customers. Don't blame the carriers. Don't blame anything. It is 100% your fault. This also can be looked at as a con because, I mean, a pro, I'm sorry, because, you know, the success is also your fault. So everything is your fault. If someone messed up on a sale or a sale or a customer service issue, that's also your fault because you hired that person. So everything is on you. Another con is you have to always be on weekends after work, six to nine, 11 PM. Like you're still thinking about the business. If you're working for someone, you can check out. Once you clock out, you're done. The weekend you're gone. You can go on a weekend vacation trip or whatever here. This is a Sunday while I'm recording this. I'm still working. I'm still always thinking about the agency and its growth. It never really turns off. This can be looked at as a con because it could be overwhelming and definitely stressful. Okay, so let's go into some of the benefits of working for an agency and the pros of that. Number one, the potential to make a lot of money in commissions and sales. If you just focus on sales, you have one role, one activity daily. It's just a close premium. You don't have to worry about marketing. You don't have to worry about accounting. You don't have to worry about anything else. Your sole job is to be an excellent salesperson and just make sales. So that's awesome because it allows you to have very clear cut direction. And if you just execute and work on yourself as a salesperson, you should have huge success. High rewards for top performers are usually out there for in agencies. 
So you could really excel in that, make a lot of money without having to deal with all the other overhead ownership issues. Flexibility, a lot of times you also have some good flexibility as a top performer. Top performer, you can you know, take some you know, weekends off, maybe ask for a day off. Most agencies have those kinds of flexibilities and PTO and vacation. So it's really, really important also to make sure that if this is the route you take, it is an agency that makes sense culturally, has the right commission structures, it hits everything that you're looking for. We believe that we're doing that. So if you're interested, always hit us up. We're always hiring as well. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, working with us, hit us up. We'd love to talk to you. And again, the lower risk, that's one of the great benefits of working for an agency. You just don't have to deal with the financial or operational risk of starting an agency. A lot of times agencies, I've seen many of them just not work because they're just not producing enough output and sales. So they essentially just close down and they you know, essentially lost money for after one or two years. So there always is a risk with starting your own agency. So some of the cons of working for an agency, you will likely be on a schedule. So you don't get to control your schedule. While you do may have, have some flexibility working for an agency, you do still adhere to the rules and the processes and the schedule of the agency. So that's one of the cons. If you really want the complete flexibility, go for it, start your own agency, but just know when you leave for vacation, your agency is taking a big hit without having its number one operator and person that's going to care the most. So con, as a salesperson working for an agency, you don't get to control that. Also con, if you have your own agency and you do want to do that, you're going to hurt your agency anyway. So you choose. The next thing is following the vision of the agency. You have to also be in line and be aligned with the vision of the agency owner. If you don't align with the vision and the long-term strategy or goal, then it's going to be tough for you too. So make sure that the agency and the agency owner is somebody you align with in the long-term vision of growth and what you ultimately see this company going to. Because you don't want to be working for a company that's on the way out. You want to go with somebody who's on the way to the top and that you see you could eventually grow within. Another thing is you don't call the shots. Uh, you basically don't have any necessary input on the strategic decisions. That is really the agency owner's role. Most of the times agency owners are open to it, but they ultimately make the, the ultimate call on the decision making. So you don't really get to choose what the marketing or leads or, you know, all the different types of strategies are for generating business. And that's also one of the cons. So if that sounds like something you just can't get over and you need to have control of that, then maybe that is something you do take on with uh, starting your own agency. Just to recap both in conclusion with this video, there are major pros and cons to both sides. It's, it's super hard for me to answer that question when people do ask me. I would love to try to be able to assess that, but this is something I really encourage you to just be self-aware. Ask yourself, like, do I want to take on this 10-year project? Because if realistically, after now six years of running my own agency, I see that if you really want to have any serious levels of success it takes about 10 years and do you want to take that on do you have the stomach to deal with all the problems it is massively stressful it is there's a lot of pressure on you for leading the team making sure financially it's making sense you're making money there's a lot of demand also coming with that if you are somebody that can handle high levels of stress the more stress you can kind of pile on, the more probably you will make. That is one of the great things about it too. So if you're, you're somebody who is very, very stress tolerant, then it could be something that's good for you. And then you have to really work on yourself constantly. If you are trying to run the whole agency and, and, and work on yourself constantly as a leader, somebody who is positive, somebody that they look up to, has this clear vision that inspires people and makes people want to be successful, lead with positivity and those are things that you need to constantly be on like i said it's something you need to always be on you can't there's no days off and you can't go in and feel off because your team will notice it your team will start to shift their you know vibes and it's just not good for the overall success so really definitely take a take a you know second to think about it really lay out maybe the pros and cons for yourself and what you think hopefully this video does help you make a decision if you do want to chat with me go to chriscostantini.com boom you can always hit me up for a little consulting call or dm me on instagram at chris the insurance guy and guys if you do get any value from this i really appreciate it if you comment something you want to see 
or like and subscribe so you can get some more of these types of videos but really really appreciate you guys any comments you have in here on the below would be really appreciated because it helps me make more content for other agencies out there or you know people thinking about starting to start their own agency or maybe not whatever that might be and i just want to help as many possible people in the insurance industry as i can so really appreciate you guys we'll see you at the top good luck out there and keep crushing it see you guys soon peace